my discovery of bare knuckle pickups actually came from a Facebook page. Um, and I, Tim was a part of the page. Um, it was called PRS GOW. When it first started out, it was PRS Guitar Owners UK, I think. Then it went to a worldwide thing. Um, but I was on there and I was talking about pickups because I really liked the 5708. And someone said, if you like the 5708, you should try out a bare knuckle mule. And that happened and that was kind of the end of that. I just, those, those pickups were, they blew me away, you know, for that kind of PAF, but you know, just a little meteor. It, they, they blew me away, you know, and I, it's kind of been a in love relationship with the pickups ever since. I, but it was literally through talking about pickups on Facebook, you know, and it, it was on that PRS page and I was looking for something to try that was just a little, you know, more than what I had. And <clears throat> I tried those, they split out great. Everything was awesome with them. And that led me to trying out, you know, I, I got black dogs in one guitar and, you know, some, a lot of the boot camp series I really love. And it just kind of spawned a relationship, you know, I, Tim and I messaged on Facebook at that point, and it was from there. It was just kind of what it was, you know. A, a friendship kind of grew out of two guys digging the shit out of pickups and, and guitar tones. The the first bare knuckle pickup I tried was the Mule. Um, like I said, I, I come from more of a you know taking a Les Paul and you know that's got a more vintage style pickup in it and plugging it into an amp that's cranked wide open, and that was the pickup that kind of you know, caught my attention looking on the website. I tried it and it's, it was everything I hoped and then some, you know, so you, obviously that was, you know, the, the start of my love with the company, but every pickup I've tried, even the pickups that aren't necessarily for the sound that I use or I wouldn't think would be, you still get all, all that articulation, like Rabia's silo model that's came in his guitar. I expected to not like that pickup just because he gets his sound a way different way than I get my sound, you know, but lo and behold, I plugged that pickup into my rig and it sounds massive. It still sounds like me. It still allows all that to come through. And I think that's one of the great things about the pickups that Tim makes and, and he's created with Bare Knuckle is the true identity of every guitar comes through because there's such a clarity in every single model that you don't lose any of the tonal quality. And it, it, it amazes me the way he's able to get basically any sound you want, you know, anything you can think of, it, it comes out in that pickup, you know. So I was messaging Tim one day and I was like, dude, I just absolutely fucking love your pickups. Would it be cool if I just got them in every guitar I have that I tour with, you know? And he goes, why don't we just go one further and make a signature model? And I was like, holy shit, this is amazing. This is, the, in my opinion, the best pickup company on the planet. And now I'm getting offered a signature pickup with them. And I was like, dude, I'd be honored. I would love that, you know? And then we had a, a small conversation. I was telling you, you know, before we started, a, literally a small conversation about things I loved about different pickups from Bare Knuckle. <laughs> And he goes, I think I've got the thing for you. He sent me the very first prototype set. And I sent him back two comments. I said, can we get them a little more on the output, just a touch and a little less on the very top end. And he's like, absolutely. He's like the, you know, the slight overwind will give us a little less, but if you want me to take a little less high end, we can work that as well. I was like, yeah, do both please. Um, and I got the second set and I was like, these are fucking perfect, man. So the Peacemaker is probably the hottest, you know, resistance pickup as far as the numbers that I've used a lot. I prefer a more vintage spec pickup for some reason. They just, there's a clarity in those pickups to me and a reactiveness. Like you can get the squawkiness and the squishiness, but you can also, you know, I don't know. It's just, you know, a lot of those pickups were 7.8K in the bridge and I'm at, you know, nine, six or so. So it's a big difference to a lot of guys would look and go, I don't know if that'll work. Trust me, if you like vintage stuff, try it. Every guitar I've put them in, I feel like that guitar, like I said about the other pickups, that it, the true personality and the true life of that guitar has come out more with those pickups 
than the previous pickups. And that's not just because they got my name on them. Like I said, you can do that with basically any bare knuckle set. It's which set do you want, you know? For me, you know, it's that that pickup really helps bring a guitar to life. You know, like I said, I had the silo in the Rabia model and it sounded great. It Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. But I'd asked him about, you know, a black and gold Peacemaker to go in that guitar, which I thought would look rad. So I had him send me one, and the minute I put it in there, it was like, that sounds more like me. You know, immediately it sounded more like me. And that's all you can hope for. Through conversations with Tim and, and trying out one set and giving him feedback, we found a set of pickups. Well, Tim created a set, essentially, that allowed me to put them in a 24 and a half inch scale guitar, a 25 and a half inch scale guitar, a baritone guitar, and still be able to plug that guitar in and plug it into whatever I've got to plug into. And I still have that comfort of knowing that every sound that I wanted to achieve, I can get out of that pickup. You know, with that pickup and a coil tap on it, I can get any sound I need for one night. I'm able to pull the sounds out that get me to where I need to be and, and give me the feeling I want to feel and let me express what I want to express in the sonic way that I want to do it, you know? Because to me, guitar playing is like, you know, your second version of singing. And the most incredible thing to me is I now have something that can make a guitar feel more like my voice, you know? And that's fucking amazing to me.